everyone. I am doing one of my other video experiments. This one was, um, this one evolved because of all the questions I've been getting about bone broth. So I think there's a lot of eating plans out there right now for the new year that says do bone broth every day, which is wonderful, which we'll talk about. Um, I like to look at the bigger picture. So I'm making dinner tonight. So what we're doing is having, uh, making this beautiful meal and then we're gonna keep the bones from the chicken in the cooker and let that cook for the next 24 hours. So we're gonna have dinner and take the meat off the bones. So this is way more efficient and more fun and more realistic. If any of you love to live more realistically with me, then please stay, um, stay tuned. All right, so I usually don't crave chicken a lot, um, but I crave it when I need to feel a little more grounded or a few days of the month where you just need a little bit more protein. So I used to eat a lot of chicken and now I've evolved a little bit with eating a little bit less chicken way more plant-based, but when I do want it, I want it. And I'm a dark meat chicken girl. So the chicken's right here, you can't quite see it, but we'll get to that. And then the broth I love. I'm not a big fan of doing all or none extreme programs, but what's neat about the broth is when you have that handy, it's more about what you're not grabbing. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, I'm healing from the bone broth, which you are, because there's beautiful amino acids and minerals in there. The amino acid is glycine, which helps you with anti-inflammatory properties. The minerals are magnesium, which helps with everything, muscles, hydration, nourishment, your heart, all these different things. So the bone broth is beautiful, but what I tend to see with my clients and myself is that like when my stress is starting to get high during the day, does anybody know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that instead of grabbing it, going for a quick fix, the bone broth is there and it is doing like a triple threat. It is doing triple benefits, I guess. Um, it is doing hydration, again, the minerals and the nourishment too. It's giving you so, those vitamins and minerals that your brain and organs really do need because you've been in fight or flight and stress so long. So I made this meal last a few weeks ago and it was a little bland, um, but I kind of wanted bland. Does, do you know, when you, you know when you want bland? So I made this meal a few weeks ago, and so we're gonna make the meal again with a little bit extra spice, and then we're gonna keep the, take off the meat and then put the chicken bones back into the cooker, and then just go ahead and keep letting that cook. So within six hours, we'll have dinner, and then tomorrow we'll have all this bone broth too, because we'll probably let it cook overnight. So, all right, what I'm doing for my um, stock for, the, for this meal, and for the broth. So again, look at, you're kind of doing it. You're doing a, oh, it's a win-win. You're doing two first. So I'm gonna do celery, carrots, and I got the rainbow carrots because they're beautiful. Um, I like to shop what makes me happy. So I got the rainbow carrots. We're gonna put those kind of big chunky in there. Um, for the meal, it doesn't, we like a little bit smaller bites for the meal, but for the broth, you can put in the bigger chunks. So if you don't like to food prep, you can just throw it in there. So we're gonna do celery. And then I said carrots, which I'm gonna do a little bit bigger because I don't like soggy carrots at all. So we're gonna do those a little bit bigger. Then, then I got, I don't do well with, um, my tummy doesn't love a lot of garlic. A lot of garlic. I know, I know, I wish I did, but my tummy just doesn't thrive off of it. So I did a leek instead. So I highly recommend garlic for most of you, um, but for me I was like, eh, I'm gonna be eating this for a few days and I didn't wanna have um, the garlic in there for my stomach. So, because I will, you know, we'll have the leftovers. So you can even take it and um, you can probably put it over even more other steamed vegetables. You can make another soup out of it. So yeah, I'm gonna do leeks to keep those big and then onion I meant to get fresh rosemary but I forgot and then I was gonna go for a walk <laughs> and go look for some <laughs> um, but it's starting it's gonna rain here too so that was the other reason this meal idea came in is because of the rain and then I'm gonna do the onions in big chunks too so they're not so soggy okay all right what did I forget and then the seasoning and then for the chicken I'm just gonna rub coconut oil on it. So let me make sure I'm done with all my vegetables first before I touch my chicken. So you do the veggies first, and then I'm gonna touch the chicken. So let me make sure I'm done. <laughs> all right, and I'm gonna grab my chicken, 
So here it is. I'm gonna keep it on a plastic bag just to not cr cross contaminate. I put it in a plastic bag just so it wouldn't leak. It was covered <laughs> with its original wrapping, but then I didn't want it to leak in the um, in the fridge. So I'm gonna put get my hands hot with hot water, and then I'm gonna dip it into the coconut oil and rub coconut oil on it. So give me a second here, because coconut oil melts at 75 to 78 degrees actually. So if I get my hands a little warm, then now I have coconut oil. Okay. So now let me make sure that's enough before I touch the chicken. You can even put it like in a little dish over here on the side. I just had it in the container, the original container. So there's, I'm gonna rub now. Hi chicken, thank you. Thank you for your sacrifice and support for us to feel more grounded. Does that resonate with anyone when they crave something to feel more grounded? And that's kind of where I'm at. Um, I tend to notice if I eat a little bit too many raw foods in a row, I'll feel a little more agitated and so I need some more cooked foods. So this would be an example of that. If you're a vegetarian, that's awesome. You could still do the same thing with vegetables and roast them, of course, or you can do the broth. Um, you could even just make a veggie broth. There you go, just make a veggie broth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the chicken right on top and then add all the seasonings. You could have been more creative than me. Um, Again, I'm trying to balance my creativity and, edu and educating you part. So I'm gonna do a lot of rosemary because that's like my favorite. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. I did potatoes last time I made this. Um, and I'm gonna pour water over this too so they'll get in there a little bit more. I did potatoes, but today I'm not feeling potatoes. If you want a little more starchier vegetables, you could have done sweet potatoes or I love parsnips as a lot of you have been knowing. I've been vlogging about that. So that was basil. And then to give it a little more flair, I'm doing red chili pepper. Um, I've been seeing like the brome broths that are already pre-made. They do a lot of different flavors. So let's just pop this off. I really want to get a lot in there. And then I know after it's done, you can always add in more seasonings too, like whatever you're craving. Like if you wanted to make this a little more Italian, you could make a homemade pesto and put that on top or even like a tomato marinara too. And then I'm just gonna add water and then let it cook. You guys, isn't that the coolest meal? Then tonight when we go to eat dinner, we're gonna pull the chicken off the bone like I mentioned, put the bones back in and then just then let the broth keep cooking. So that's it. So you're having a meal for tonight, your bone broth, that'll be enough broth for probably at least three to five days or so. It depends on how many people are, are using it and what you're using it, how, how much you're using it. I like the broth as a snack or a complement with a cold meal. Like last night we had pokey, so we wanted something warm with it. Um, so that's how this came about actually. So we had chai, we had herbal chai tea instead with coconut milk, which was awesome. Um, so you just kind of like the bone, this broth is really wonderful with a cold meal. Or if you work um, eight to five and you're just like, can't, you're not hungry when you're supposed to be hungry, you could have the broth then and then wait and have lunch. So yeah, that's it. So stay tuned. I'll show you the finished products and thanks so much. All right, bye.